Okay, this is how to make a two color controls map, for instance, for the street series. So you'll see here I have my purple pen file and this is my base map file. So open up purple pen. Now I've got to update it. It's bad timing. So here I have my file and you can see it's a normal purple pen file and all the controls are purple. Notice I've also got my extra little bits and bobs, got the course, got the keys and all that, which we've already described. What I want for a street series event is for some of these to be red and some of them to be blue. Now it doesn't matter which way round, but the key thing to always remember is evens is one colour, odds is the other colour. So I can't do that in purple pen. So I'm going to have to go to either OCAD or OO map. I've not got OCAD, so I'm going to show you in OO map. So if I go file, create OCAD or OOM file. Now, I've used all sorts of different ones. The OCADs often work. They all kind of work. I'm going to use this one because it's the most recent OMAP version. But others should all work. It's the all controls map I want. I'm going to create it. Nothing seems to have happened. But if I look back at my folder, which previously just had the purple pen file and the base map file, it's now got an OMAP file and copies of a lot of the images that are going to be used. So if I now open up my all controls, it's opening OO map, you can see here that it is the map I had before. And the symbols I've got to choose from are all over here. You'll notice there are only purple and black symbols. The map itself is an image behind. Just a quick check that we do all have these images. Sometimes on some versions they get hidden behind and you have to use templates order to lift them up, but it's worked. What I need now are duplicate control points and duplicate control code symbols. And I'm going to use that. So if I right click on that, duplicate. And if I right click on that one, duplicate. That is going to, in a minute or two, allow me to assign one of them to odds and one of them to evens. Unfortunately, they're still purple. If I go to my colour window, you'll see I actually only have three colours defined. They're the three it imported, purple, black and white. I want two new colours. I want red and I want blue. So down at the bottom, I've got a little plus sign here, which allows me to create a new colour. I'm going to call it red. What colour? And if I go back, to, I'm going to calculate it from the GB colour which is on this tab and red is two five five zero zero okay and you'll see i have red defined i'm going to repeat the process for blue okay, it's already got them this way around custom and obviously blood red no red no green all the blue and just let's confirm it's a spot color and i'm calculating it from the rgb okay there's my blue and there's my red. Now I'm going to go and redefine these. So this one, I'm going to edit 0.0 point symbol is going to be red and the one in the middle, red. Okay, redefine this one. Blue, blue. Redefine this one. Red. Now let's have a little check. We do want framing. We, it's quite important. On the purple pen file, I didn't have any framing. I didn't have a whiteboard around the letter numbers. This is the point at which I put that in. Framing. I now have the framing option. Framing color white. Uh, with 0.2, we can see it's a bit thin, so let's go for 0.1. Okay, similar for here. Text settings, blue. I do want framing. I want framing to be in white. And I want to come up one. The reason I didn't do that in purple pen is it ends up getting far too fat when I do this conversion and hiding most of my writing. So I've gone to that. So you notice now I have red control circle, blue 
control circle, red control code, blue control code. At the moment, they are all red because that's what it inherited. So what I'm going to do using the selecting thing, I'm going to select and I'm going to leave, for the sake of argument, I'm going to leave odds red. So I'm going to turn the evens blue. So let's just find, and I can do several together by holding shift, let's find all the control circles for even ones, or at least a decent chunk of them. Sometimes I have to do it more than once. So there's a decent chunk of those turned. And I want to turn them blue. So if I right click on the blue control point, switch symbol of selected objects, and you see all those circles are now blue. Of course, you can do this for the whole thing. I'm just showing you a small bit. Now I do those control numbers. And again, I'm holding shift to multiple select. Right click on the new number, switch symbol. And there we go. You can see for this region of the map, I've turned the evens to blue and the odds to red. Obviously, I'd have to keep going and do the rest of the map. Once I've done that, I need to export it. And I'm just going to export it straight as a PDF. So. I want to save it as well, so I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to export as PDF. It might not have the right settings automatically. First of all, we need to show templates, so we get the, the actual map. I don't want a custom area. I want it to be a single page, and I want it to be a four, unless you want a three, obviously. And then I've got to find where the actual thing is. That's the bit that's going to be printed. So fine tune, get it to exactly the right place. Move it down because that white bit at the top. Oh, and now, of course, I'm my name. I'm in the way. Export. Yes, I want it here. So this will be um, or whatever else you want to call it. Thinking about it, let's just double check. Long and short course, Wellington East, if I open that up. There we go. Obviously, I didn't do the whole area. But in the area I did do as demo, we've got it working. And that's that.